activity. This is Sithi Readings and hi Libra. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended in which I'm going to clarify more for your new person, past person, bonus messages. What about your finances? So do have a look. It will be linked below for you if you are interested. What do we have for Libra, please? Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Okay. This is almost like a card of enjoying the present moment. Okay, there might even be something, Libra, that you have no control over. But you've been thinking long and hard about it. Ask yourself, can I do anything about a situation or it is better that I let it go? There's something you need to let go. Probably a situation that is already out of your control. Okay. Unknown territory. You're exactly where you need to be. Okay, so for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is that you may be feeling like you're unsure about the path that you're on. Okay. <clears throat> It's like you're moving forward, but you don't know if this is the right direction for you or are you really doing the right thing. And the thing is that we don't always know if we are doing the right thing, right? But Spirit is telling you, you are exactly where you need to be. You are on the right path, okay? So we will see what that is. Let me actually move it a little bit up because okay show me more for libra what do we have for libra in love let me actually also change this what do we have for libra in love express your love go ahead and make a romantic gesture somebody is about to express their love towards you yeah heart to heart conversation so somebody's about to show up in your life very soon and this person is going to be expressing themselves libra now the thing is that if you have feelings for them if you love them too or if you are interested in them too spirit is telling you to not hold back from expressing your feelings nice okay show me what do we have for libra please Last shuffle. All right. Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune here with the Eight of Swords. See, so. What I see here right off the bat for you, Libra, is that you don't see something coming, okay? There's an energy here of I'm not quite sure where things are taking me, okay? Um, you may also be feeling like you're being pulled in many different directions right now. You're feeling confused about something in your life. Even though at the same time with the Wheel of Fortune energy, it's like things are falling back into place. Wheel of Fortune are changes and you know these are changes that are divinely orchestrated okay um nice there is love coming your way libra oh my god empress two of cups overall energy i didn't see is the moon with the knight of wands here Libra, listen up. A lot of you are manifesting a connection here, okay? And the thing is that there is mutual love between you and this person, okay? Whoever is coming towards you, Libra, is really in love with you. Two of Cups is, first of all, it's mutual love. Secondly, it's with the Empress. This is somebody who wants to grow with you. Of course, I'm going to see later on what happens in your reading, but... For now, I can clearly see that there's love coming in for you, okay? 
I feel like a lot of you might not be wanting to take things too fast with this person. You may be wanting to have a more balanced approach towards things. But with the Three of Wands, it kind of tells me you've been expecting to hear from them or you've been wanting to hear from them. Now, if this doesn't resonate, I don't know who this person is. This could be somebody in the future for you. Oh my God, Libra. Oh my God. Oh, 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 all right. So Libra, this thing here is that this is somebody. <laughs> okay, this person is in love with you, but they're not telling you that. Two of Swords, King of Swords, Five of Cups. This person kind of like the first approach that they have towards the situation is that they're not being very expressive about their love towards you, about what they're feeling, okay? This person's kind of like playing it at a down low. I'm, I'm clearly seeing that this person is not expressing themselves. Okay. But the Five of Cups, it's also with the Two of Swords and the Five of Cups, it's like this person's unhappy about how the situation is turning out to be between you two. And this person does desire to fix it. But with the King of Swords energy, I'm also getting that this person has a very logical, practical approach towards things at the present moment, okay? They're not wanting to approach things in a way that... It just looks like they're not wanting to rush in and do something that they might regret later on. This is somebody who's giving the situation time and then showing up. Your overall outcome is the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, Empress. I mean, look at this. This in itself is a relationship. You're manifesting a connection here, okay? Your challenge is the Eight of Cups, having a hard time walking away because you're feeling confused. A lot of you are also in that time period in your life where you're withdrawing from people, situations that no longer serve you. But I feel like this transition is a little bit hard on you because you, you feel like you're being pulled in many different directions. With the Four of Swords, Four of Swords is your advice, which talks about healing, which talks about taking some time off if it is needed, okay? So let's see. There's some sort of a pain, Libra, that you have outgrown already. But you keep finding yourself back in that loop. Wheel of Fortune being there, it, that in itself is kind of like showing me that things are about to change. And look at how this card is really wanting to show up. Five of Pentacles. For a lot of you, I'm really getting that there is a deeper... What's the Five of Pentacles? Okay, listen up, Libra. I feel like there's somebody you disconnected from or there is somebody you, you felt like you were left out by this person. Because their energy is seeming very cold towards you. With the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, the Five of Cups. This is somebody who's almost like putting a front that they don't care. But with the Five of Cups energy, Five of Cups, we don't really feel sad or remorseful or regretful over something that we don't care about, okay? Deep down inside, this person kind of like is unhappy about the distance between you two, but you don't you don't know about it, okay? Because I can see that they can be very cold at times. For some of you, it's like there has been a change in your perspective in regards to this person, Libra. A lot of you feel like this person's not very expressive and you don't have the energy to kind of like bring those emotions out of this person so that may be the reason as well that you're kind of like backing off and wanting to take things slow but they're coming in what's the empress right now i see you in a beautiful energy empress attracts empress is a beautiful energy it's about manifestation uh, some of you could have kids that you're focused on or maybe this is your future. I don't know about that, but ooh, hoo -hoo. six of cups to the lovers. Empress is clarifying the six of cups and the lovers. So Libra, tell me what is this? What are you up to, Libra? What are you up to? 
<laughs> um. You're manifesting a soulmate in your life, Libra. Lovers, two of cups, six of cups, empress. There's potential of growth. There's somebody you feel a great deal of connection towards. And you see how this is like something that is divinely orchestrated, Libra. You know, this reading is kind of like reminding me of that energy where we just surrender control and we, we kind of like let things unfold as they may. This is what I see here when it comes to you. Things are looking beautiful here, okay, Libra? <clears throat> Ten of Cups, please. Nine of Swords. I feel like this offer, you don't see it coming. Nine of Swords, uh, Nine of Cups. <sighs> Libra, don't tell me that you don't want this. I feel like you do. And if this reading doesn't resonate, then I don't know who am I talking about. Maybe this is not for you. But this is for some Libra where there's a lot of love here between you two, but there's separation. Okay? You may have love for this person, but I kind of feel like you're hesitating to communicate. Like I said before, because you feel like it takes a lot for this person to open up and you just don't have the energy to do that, okay? Not because you don't love them, you don't want them, but because you're kind of like temporarily backing off. And by the way, by you temporarily backing off, I kind of see them initiating something with you. Tell me more about the outcome for Libra. What is that? <clears throat> the world card and show me more oh the queen of pentacles is here some of you might also receive an offer regarding your money or you're trying to focus more on your money for some of you i'm also seeing travel opportunities or you you wanting to travel page of swords the, uh, oh my god libra there's somebody here who's been looking forward like page of swords it's like somebody is stalking you okay two of wands the ace of cups somebody's looking forward for an opportunity in love with you with the ace of cups it's like this person's waiting to communicate to talk with the page of swords they're keeping tabs on you Ace of Cups is telling me that they're going to show up for you, Two of Wands. Okay, one thing I get here, Libra, is that you are not very used to of these kind of gestures from this person because apparently they're very cold and detached. But Ace of Cups, Lovers, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, you are, Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups is where it starts. Ten of Cups is the ultimate. In the middle, you're getting Two of Cups, Six of Cups. So... This is a legit love reading, like legit, okay? For a lot of you, Libra, what Spirit is saying is that right now, a lot of you need to work on opportunities in your life that seem mutual, especially when it comes to money. Um, I do see good money coming in your way, but don't be so hard on yourself when it comes to your sense of independence. You're somebody who likes to be independent. You're somebody who likes to have leisure you know um time you 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 like luxury things like that but don't be so hard on yourself when it comes to your money some of you could be really working hard or overworking even what's the four of swords yeah okay certain things in your life libra require contemplation 
and spirit is telling you to do that okay with the ace of pentacles energy here there are new beginnings coming in for you especially in love and in money but it's also very important that you think things through there's something your inner voice is guiding you towards libra and it's important that you listen to that all right, let's read for you your oracle messages to close off your reading. And the rest I'm going to clarify in the extended Libra. How's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of life, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. I'm also going to pull some cards for your finances and what is something spirit wants you to know. So you can have a look at be linked below. All right, let's read for you grace and gratitude. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gr gratitude to flood, flood you at every step. No matter what twist turns, there are in the road whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable whether you are confident and unsure no matter what you are experiencing even if your challenges seem too hard for you feeling grateful will ease any challenge replace darkness with light and allow you to hear the oh sound of angels your entire life can transform when you take time to fully deeply and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you I feel like this has a lot to do with being in the present moment, like I said before, but also the presence of angels and spirit guides around you at this time, Libra. Some of you may be feeling very lonely or like you're you're alone, okay? Because I feel like you're being told that you're not alone, okay? I don't know who, who needed to hear that message. All right, uh, unknown territory. Let's see what that is. And that in itself is also a very, like, sometimes we... It's a very hard place to be in, right? Mentally, when we're like, okay, this is what I am supposed to be doing, but is it the right thing? And I don't feel like we can ever in life really know, are we doing it right? Sometimes we make mistakes and... Um, and then we blame ourselves only if I could have done things differently. But I feel like you're exactly where you need to be, Libra. Okay? You're exact. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the first line says you are exactly where you need to be. <laughs> even if you're not consciously aware of it. See? Okay, I didn't even read it yet. All right. Uh, even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you cannot see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward, do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. Your heart always knows. Instead of dismay because you are in unknown territory, celebrate that you're expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. So let's see what is the guided message for Libra to close off this reading. What is something Libra needs to know right now? What is something Libra needs to know? Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, and I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Have fun. Don't be so hard on yourself, Libra. So your affirmations are, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, and I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. So that's about it, Libra. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like if this reading helped you in some way. Uh, check out the extended link below and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Take care, Libra, and bye-bye.